and sow tears while you're asleep. And he'll come and have you feeling some kind of way and you don't know why you feel that way. How many times you got up, you just woke up, but you woke up with an attitude. Something, when you was asleep subconsciously, the enemy sold something in your dream, in your mind, and you wake up just slamming stuff. Don't talk to me. Leave me alone. I ain't in the mood. How we wake up like that? And we said, that ain't the devil. Wait a minute. It happened in your subconscious mind. And we'll sit there and, and we can go through things and, and you'll be like, well, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why I keep doing this. It's like the more that I try to stop doing something, I find myself doing it. Because subconsciously, in your mind, you have opened up the door to that thing and the enemy on came in. And see, we got to be aware because even God showed me the reason why some of us struggle so much even with being a Christian. But think about it. Because he showed me we'll, get a, we'll have a good time at church. We get our shout, we get our dance, we get our praise on. And we make up our mind and we say, I'm going to get saved. I'm going to get a Lord in my life. Think about it. When you, when, when, when you read Romans 10 and 9, say, I confess and I ask Jesus to be my personal Lord and Savior. To be my king. Basically, you're telling him that you're going to die and that you're going to live for him. So when you tell him that you're going to die to what you want, your ways, your opinions. Basically, you saying that you ain't got nothing to say so. Because you're saying, I belong to you. We make these confessions, but when we leave out the church, we don't pick up our Bible, and we don't pray. We go home, we eat, we watch TV, watch Atlanta Housewives, um, we watch uh, the murder show, we watch all this stuff. So really, subconsciously, when you watch those shows, but I just gave my life to the Lord. Subconsciously, how can I how can I give my life to somebody I don't know nothing about? You don't talk to me. How 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 can we do it? I think the perception is that I just speak for myself. When I did it, I did it because I want to be blessed. I want to, I want to big things and I want to live good. So my motives were wrong, but that perception that the church gave off. You want to be blessed? Come here. You want to be blessed? Give the Lord your life. And so that's why I did it. Okay, but I'm talking about now. Get to know him. Okay, okay now. Um, because we'll look at what we do. You know, we'll flip through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But I just gave the Lord my life. But in our mindset, and, then, and we'll think if something goes wrong with us, something tragic happened in our life, we'll say, I gave you my life. But you ain't came and helped me. You ain't came and worked this situation out. But I'm trying to say, but I want you to look at this situation, though. What's wrong with this picture? We said it with our mouth, but it really wasn't in our heart. Because if it was really in your heart, it would cause you to say, you know what? I got to, got to go to Bible study. I got to start, need to learn how to pray. I need to know how do I relate to a God that I don't know. Because subconsciously, whatever that I put in my spirit, man, that's what's going to dominate my life. That's true because I can't identify. So when people were talking about they love God, all these things, I couldn't relate to it. Right. I identify with it. Like you said, you know. We said it with our mouth, but we really don't mean it. Because see, now when I don't left the church and I don't went home, the norm gone off me. I don't feel that shout. <laughs> you know, it's gone. So. What's really wrong with the picture is, is that I really got emotional 
Because if you read